Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Tom back here with another video. And then in this video today, we are going to be doing the new Dark Matter point guard Jalen Green gameplay. Now, before we dive into that, shout out to my guy Iwan for letting me hop on his account to make this gameplay possible. If you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button. So we are on the road to 80,000 subscribers. Jalen Green, 6'6, 178 pounds. 97 three ball, 98 driving deck, 97 ball under, 95 block, 97 steal, 98 perimeter with a 90 interior defense, good enough rebounding stats, 97 speed, speed ball acceleration, as well as a 98 lateral quickness, 64 out of favors with four of them being on gold. I mean, there's really no downfalls with the card. I do think he's going to be better on current gen than next gen. But release-wise, we'll see exactly what it's like. I don't think it's a bad release, but we'll see how good it is. I think he has a 7-foot wingspan, too. That can help out. Here's my thing. You guys might be like, well, he's only 6'6", Ty. He's basically useless. Kobe Bryant's 6'6", and all you guys love Kobe Bryant if you do play on next gen. Don't count out Jalen Green quite yet. Let's see what he's working with. Look at Jalen Green here in shoot around. We're just going to see movement wise. He looks tough. Like Obviously, I got a delayed peak right there. He looks tough movement wise and release wise. I don't think it's bad. I mean, it is the Steph Curry pace. I'm not exactly sure what upper he's working with, but it doesn't look bad. It's decently quick. I think it's going to be decently easy to green. And honestly, based on his release, I think Jalen Green might be better at the shooting guard position than the point guard position because I feel like you could use him as a spot up guy. I'm going to say to use him as a spot up guy, but I definitely think you could if, if you wanted to, right? if you wanted to run let's say Cade Cunningham at the one Jalen Green at the two I definitely think that's a combination that you that I personally could get behind can I stop doing the the, the wrong behind the back and can I get a quick stop please but you guys are seeing right here Jalen Green's looking pretty solid greening wise is solid obviously attacking the rim we know what Jalen Green's about can I stop getting hop step animations it happened in my last gameplay too I'm not trying to get hop step animations just trying to get showtime dunks just like that with Jalen Green. I'm going to check his dribble six and then we'll see here. But has hot spots from everywhere, which I personally love to see. Nice behind the back. Decent enough tween. Let's get one more green for you, Jalen Green. I need a green from you on current gen. There it is. Bap. Slightly late again. Can I speed up the process with you? There it is. Green light for Jalen Green. That's the one I'm talking about. Look at Jalen Green on next gen. Movement wise is a big thing. Like, how does Jalen Green move? And is he comparable to the likes of like a Kobe Bryant? Because that's the one thing I will say. Kobe Bryant on next gen, obviously, with the Hall of Fame. Blinders is a card everybody likes. I will be the first to say Jalen Green's release on next gen is so chicken. Like, I, I'm not trying to gas Jalen Green up like that. But I will say his release is so butter. Well, what more could you want out of a release? He might have the best release on next gen. Do you guys, do you guys disagree? Look how quick it is. Look how easy to time it is. It's so immaculate. I don't know if there's a better release on next gen than this. I really don't know if there is. So quick, so easy to time. If you're looking at a point guard or a shooting guard that likes to three hunt, this card might be it for you if you do play on next gen. I just want to throw that out there. I mean, the dude's release is immaculate. Now I'm not that good on next gen, so I mean it's kind of tough for me, especially if he's not gonna have steady. But you look at his movement, right? You look at his release more than anything is what I'm looking at. And you're looking at an incredible card on next gen. I'm slightly early with you right now. But it's just like the release is something you can't make up, right? It's either somebody's got it or they don't. And for Jalen Green, he's got it. This release is immaculate. Maybe I'm overhyping the card. And you guys can say if I am. But release-wise, at least in shoot around, is looking like one of the best. Obviously, we can see what he's looking like elsewhere. I mean, Jalen Green's looking like the best guys. I'm not trying to sit here and gas it, but if you do play on next gen, think about applying this blinders to Jalen Green and getting him going. Because of how great he was in shoot around and how good I think he is potentially going to be on next gen, that's where I'm staying. If y'all don't think I'm staying on next gen to do this gameplay, you would be wrong. I'm excited and I'm up against Isaiah Thomas. So, I mean, quite honestly, it's not going to matter. I got a full on the first possession, but it's not going to matter what I do. I'm up against Isaiah Thomas, so I should be able to win this game either way. What am I watching? Why does Moses Moody have a... Sh Bro, tell me. Make it make sense. Why does Moses Moody have a headband when no other dude in the rookie draft class has anything? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. But then they want to give Moses Moody a headband. Make it make sense, 2K. Just make it make sense. That's all I'm asking for. Make it make sense. Oh, yeah, Jalen Green. Oh, yeah, Jalen Green. Nobody wants to... Why am I getting back-to-back -back fools? gonna do go up with it like what are you gonna do chick 
early again. That's where I'm at right now. I need to hold it down a little bit longer because right now I'm just early with Jalen Green. Thank you. Why are you taking a moving? Like, y'all are making me mad. I get it. I'm not good on next gen. But y'all are making me mad right now. Give me a reset. Come here. I gotta stop taking moving. It's like, I'm getting blessed with all the whites I'm hitting right now. Heck no. Bored. All right. I'm, I'm done with you, Jalen Green. You don't green this, I'm done with you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I gotta start being better on next gen. I'm normally not this bad. Like, I'm not good. I'm not gonna sit here and gas myself, but normally I'm not quite this bad. Chick, there's just no way I'm getting all these fools. And I don't even think it's my fault. I've gotten three fools so far in this game. Thank you, Jalen Green. It's not that hard. Maybe that's what's going to get you going. Another one. Like, again, you want an off ball, that's fine. I don't know how to dribble, but anytime I'm going to get an open shot, it's over with. This dude's release is immaculate. Board. Thank you, Ron. Early. That's me. That's really my fault. You guys have seen how many whites he's made. That's my fault. We're headed right into triple threat online. I know I wasn't chick man in that gameplay, but don't give up hope. Trust me on this Jalen Green card. All right, I see Bron, Chris Webber. That's fine. Good D, yeah. Ain't no way Taco just got swam around. That doesn't even make sense. Chick. I love his release. I'm t Look, I would not lie to you guys. When I feel something, I'm going to tell y'all. And Jalen Green's release is just different. Okay, he got Corey Kispert. He just made a moving 15% with a Galaxy Opal Corey Kispert. I mean, I guess, 2K. I guess, but let me do my dance with Jalen Green. You want to go crazy with Kispert? That's fine. Oh, yeah, J. Oh, yeah, JG. That's me. That's really my fault. I'm bad at quick stopping, but the moving three for Jalen Green is knocked down anyway. Oh, yeah. We're giving him that sharp badge. I ain't even going to waste any time. Show me something. 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 This is good D. Show me something, baby. Show me something, baby. It's good D. Show me something, baby. It's great D, me. Good. Yeah, board, chill. Perfect. What do you want me to say? Yes, he doesn't have the XM base, but one might argue that this release is just as good. Like, I'm, I'm I don't know. His release has blown me away so far. I got a full. That was a kill too. And it's just tough, especially if you give him blinders. Way better on next gen than current gen. I'm just going to throw that out there right now. That's Jalen Green for you. Way better on next gen than current gen. But on next gen, the dude is fantastic. Even if you just play triple threat online, I'm gonna, not going to sit here and lie to you. The dude is going to be absolutely fantastic. Finish him. Right. What more do you want me to say? I literally greened every shot but maybe one of them. Seven of eight from the three-point line. The dude was incredible. He's only got the Steph Curry base with the Paul George upper, but there's something about that release on next gen that's just different. Maybe it's just the Steph Curry base. I don't know, but this card is absolutely elite. I think he might be better at the shooting guard than point guard, but if you can just use him as a spot-up guy, give him Hall of Fame blinders, which you can purchase from the token market. Player build works perfect for next gen. He is a next gen made card. On current gen, I don't recommend him, but on next gen, he is fine. He absolutely is fantastic on next gen. There's people that spend a ton of MT on Kobe Bryant, when in my opinion, this is my opinion, Jalen Green's got a way better release. Jalen Green gives you more than Kobe does on next gen. 
You guys can disagree if you want, and that's fine. But Jalen Green, if you give him blinders, is going to give you more than Kobe Bryant does. That's my final takeaway. Instead of getting Kobe Bryant and running him, get Jalen Green. You're going to have more success with the card for right above 50,000 MT. It's going to wrap it up for my video today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys, and have a blessed day.